Right, good morning people. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh. I work here at uh, Northwick. Today, we're gonna clean out some of these animals. Um, if you watched some of the videos before, um, you know we clean out this shed normally once halfway through winter. Of course, we're towards the end of winter now, but um, we cleaned that side uh, a couple of weeks ago. And on this side here, where the animals come out of their bedding into the feed passage, um, they've got some wooden timbers. The dung's got so high now, it's starting to push those out and break them. So there's only four pens I need to do. So we'll do one, two, three, and four. And then the rest of them haven't had cattle in that long, so um, they're not so bad. But first job is going to be trying to shut the cattle on the feed passage because the gates that I need to shut them back with are buried and done. But uh, it's just all part of the fun, isn't it? So we'll make a start here moving some gates about, shut some cows back. And yeah, we'll have a have a go at cleaning them out. That's the tricky bit complete. I'll show you this door here a minute. I'm gonna to have to push on it with the handle, I think, to open it. Bowed out, that is. And it's gone in on the top, which is bent now hanging, which is not good, which means there'll be an awful amount of pressure on that pin. I wonder if we can whack it out, but that's not good. Right, I got the door open. That's uh, half the battle one. I'll have to knock that back before we put it back later on. We've got loads of rubbish behind here that doesn't belong there. Hopefully that will just sit there like so. And look, you can see how deep it is. Up to my knees. The, the other issue, well one, we've got the brushes on these gates now. And this one has to come this way to uh, shut these guys in there. So that's annoying. Could always just take it off, but seems like a lot of effort. The other one is this gate here. I need to shut these guys in there. It's currently buried a foot into the dung. So we'll have to take a load of dung out, lift it, onto these top hangings and then uh, shut those guys back but I've got enough in this pen to get on with for a minute so we'll make ourselves a start nothing to see here I know I said I wasn't going to take it off but it's a pain in the backside so I'm taking it off right I'll put that somewhere safe it's one issue solved Still got a little bit sticking out, but it's within the post, so I shouldn't hit it. Now this gate, that's gonna be fun. I've, uh... oh crumbs. I got to try and swing it that way. I need to lift it up. Really? Oh. I need to try and get some more dung out of there first. I need myself. Some sort of whacking implement. Like that one. That's one more hurdle overcome. Now I know what you're all thinking. I made that look incredibly easy and I probably just edited it to make it look fast, but uh, that might be the case. Right, time to deploy the secret weapon, the chain. So, chuck it all on the floor. Put one of them on a tie. Put those two crooks in there because I can't get that out. And we're gonna lift it out, so that's the plan. Where shall I put you? Fingers crossed! 
doing that just gives me a load more space now I can get in and clear out all this muck here. I've got two more pens to do, is it? Yeah, two more. And then we'll be done. So, had a bit of trouble at lunchtime. We, well, I was having trouble with that post, so I stopped for lunch. The pipes on the grab where they join there keep coming undone, which is quite annoying. And then we had a cow carving backwards in the dairy shed alongside a cow that carved this morning who's decided to become the nastiest cow we've got. So it was me, Phil and Craig we managed to grab a leg of this cow that was calving backwards and she sort of as she ran away the calf fell out. So we got the calf out of her fine and is alive. But then she decided to mother the calf from the crazy cow. So um, took a bit of figuring out what we're going to do with them but we managed to separate them all safely and get them in individual pens. So I'm back down here to continue with this now. So I'm going to blitz through some of this and it might take you up to see the cows and calves at the end. So we'll get on here. Now, if you've watched my videos previously when we've been mucking out this shed, you were probably wondering why we're not using the tractor and trailer to cart it all round. Simple reason is there's not enough people here. Um, Bruce and John have gone up to Harpenden, which is the other Rottenstead research farm up near London. They've gone to take a maize row up there um, and bring something, I don't know what they're bringing back, they're bringing something back. Craig and Paolo are fitting green feeds in the sheep shed. Um, Rex is back, he's busy vaccinating sheep with Suzanne. Uh, I think Andy's down with Craig as well, giving him a hand. And Philly G, well, no one knows what Philly G does during the day, but he's here somewhere. But uh, he was there when we needed a hand with that carb, so that's the main thing. So what I'll do is I'll take all the bulk of it out with the grab. And then towards the end, when I've got the stuff around the edges left, I'll put the bucket on and clean up. And yeah, we'll have a bit of a blitz at it. We'll chuck a couple round bales in at the end, roll them about. The jobs are good in. He didn't want to come out, did he? Yeah, right. Last pen. Poik all this dung out quick. Get some straw bales. Fill it all up. Put the post back in. Let the calves back. That's the plan.
we're losing the light. Craig's come to give me a hand, so he's on the handle at the minute. I've been sat in the thing all day, so I fancy a bit of time out of it. So I fought all along the side, he pushed it all out. Uh, I got two bales there. Craig's gone to get another two. We'll put a bale in each pen and um, let the stock back. These guys have been stood there most of the day, so they'll be quite happy to come in and have a lie down, I expect. So the last bit of dung is over there. I'll pick that up in the morning when we do our cleaning out. But yeah, that's gone well. So that's four pens cleaned out. It takes longer than you think to do it, actually. But um, just one of those jobs. It'd be a good job done. So we'll wait for Cray to come back and once we put the bales in, we'll put that brush back on. There's only two bolts. And that'll be a good job done as well. You realize how dark this shed is, how bad the skylights are, and how grubby they've got. Because um, it is still daylight outside. But it's just very dark in here. I don't know if anyone noticed on our posts here that we hang the gates on, we've got two lots. So if we've got calves, for example, with the um, cows, their dung was already built up a bit, so they're on the top ones. But you can start them down here so that the cows, uh, the calves, so don't escape underneath. And then there's two slots in the posts for the bolts to meet. That one needs to go up there. This gate's also had a bit of a fight with something because he's bowed right over. But it'll do all right for me. Will he fit? Yes. It made me bucket dirty. Place. Right, I'm up in the cabin shed. Just doing a final check before going home. For this pen and the next pen I've got in calf cows in still, and the little one next door. The rest of them all got cows and calves in. We want to start turning some stuff out soon. Those two calved yesterday, they're all doing alright. This is the nutter cow I was on about. See, she hasn't really licked her calf off yet. But we, um, we put red bands like this on the gate, just to warn anyone that comes in the shed um, that the cow in there is potentially nasty. But this is the one that had the backwards calves. You see her calves underneath the gate. It's not very helpful. Good, mother. So yeah, that one was coming out backwards. And we managed to grab a leg each, me and Phil, and pull the calf out. Um, but she was actually mothering that one's calf, which was making that cow very upset, and that cow was trying to kill us. So I blame this cow entirely, but calves all are right. We've seen the other one here up and sucking. That one has been mothered a lot better than the one there has. I just don't understand it with cows sometimes. They get a bit confused as to who their calf is. Yeah, you're a bit scary, aren't you? 
wouldn't trust her. Always make a note of the ones that are a bit um, nasty, I suppose, when they carve. And Mel keeps a record of them, but that one hasn't got any previous form and she's had calves before, so why she's being like it this year, but no idea. But um, everyone else has gone home, so I'm gonna go home as well. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to follow my Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok, they'll be on the bottom of the screen now. The links are also in the description. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on another video very soon. Cheerio.